right, welcome back to another Wainwright walk. Today we're doing up to six Wainwrights in the Southern Fells. Just parked up at the Wasdale National Trust car park there. Nine pound all day. It's bank holiday weekend for Easter. So it's gonna be very busy today. It's half past six at the moment, so we've set up to try and beat the crowds. But first, we've got guests. So here's Alex Blythe again from previous adventure. But first we're going up Lingmel, straight up the nose here for my first time. Then on to Scorfell Pike. Um, down to Mickledore, then up Scorfell via Fox's Gully over to slight side and if we've got energy at the end of the day we'll be nipping up to Ilgill Head and Windrig. It's not that many miles this walk as, as some previous ones have been but there's a lot of ascent and I think a lot of it <laughs> is in this first part up to Lingmel. So I was the clear skies today I promised although Lingmel's clear the rest of them seem in clag just now, but I think that'll burn off throughout the day. So anyway, let's get warmed up and up these fells. Let's go. Wow, right, so I've made a mistake already. I missed the path to Lingmel. So it's just up there, so I'm just gonna navigate up this bank and get back onto it. I'm so used to coming up this uh, tourist path. It's like a nature really. So, hi, up here to Lingmel. Can't see Scorfell Pike yet, but what we can see is England's deepest lake, uh, Wastwater, just here. Right, that's us back on the path to Lingmel. Not too far away from it. Just navigated up that bank there. Should be around this corner. Like I say, it's straight up the nose. And here it is, the path up to Lingmel. That's where we should have came up from, but a little bit of a detour, I need brother. Aye. Right. Right up here. Not too bad. Grass paths are nice and nice and spongy, so doesn't consume much energy. But yeah, the clouds are a bit intermittent. Up here at 800 meters, it's clear. Down there, U Barrow, 600 odd meters. Clag, clag. Scorfell seems all right, but aye, we're promised that it clears up later on in the day. We'll see if it lives up to it. It does look clear coming from the. Uh, coast over there but uh, we'll see the wind is absolutely brutal wow right so we're about 490 meters here just more than halfway it's not wasting any time with flat bits on this hill it's just straight up, but I guess that's a good thing. We've been going about 50 minutes now. Not too bad, just taking our time. Right, just coming up to the first rise. It's not the summit, it's a false summit, sadly. But we can see the true summit just behind there, so not too much more. A lot of ascent very rapidly, like I say, but the wind is too brutal to film, so I apologize about this video. It's gonna be difficult to get some content, but I'll do what I can. All right, so we're making good progress now. This is quite a nice bit of Lingmel after the straight up first section there. Lovely gradual ascent. I think I'm not scrambling near the summit, but aye, I'm enjoying this now. Got into it. The wind's 
still brutal, but it's largely being shielded by Ling Mel itself now, so it's creating a form of buffer. Uh, just hope these clouds clear. I've been saving this walk for a beautiful day. I've had my eye on this weather for two weeks now. It's, it's an excellent views. I can live with wind. I can work with that, but just hope it blows this clag away. Right, I think we're about 650, 700 metres now. Been buffeted by the wind, like I say, so a little bit of time to think. Looking forward to the cup of tea at the top of this one. It's got a new flask yesterday. Hopefully it'll keep it warm. Smashed the other two, sadly. Bye. Scorefell Pike, incidentally. It's only the second mountain I ever did. After Skidder and I mentioned the story of Skidder on, on that video. I was terrified coming here. You get to sort of Wasdale over the cattle grid and it all opens up the big giants of the area. And, you know. Right, so we're just off the summit of first wind right of day, Ling Mel. Massive drop here. <laughs> Looks like a climbing route. Dave. Yeah, dare me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day if I get some rope skills. But until then, I'm quite sure this is the summit here. I recognise this cairn. From right, here we are on summit of the first wound of the day of Ling Mel, 800 meters I believe. Well done Alex. Right so we're just heading down from Ling Mel, we're going to find somewhere out of the wind to have a quick cuppa. Have a look at the journey going forward. On to Scorfell Pike next, down to Ling Mel Col. Oh, it's greasy up here. Got to be very careful. That's magnificent though, that uh, drop here. Whoa, it's epic. Whoa. Ah. Oh, I need this tea. To be fair, as far as 800 metre mountains go, that wasn't too bad, was it? Uh, I don't think. I've done a lot worse than that. Uh, it's nice to get the ascent done fairly quickly, I think. But, uh, I, new kettle, new flask, new cup of tea. Cheers, lad. Hasn't leaked. That's a result. Yeah, not over me this time. Right, so apologies, can't bring you any views. Looks like the whole of this walk, sadly, but it doesn't matter. You can see the tea, and that's beautiful in its own right there. Beautiful colour from the tea master himself. Anyway, yeah, like I say, down to Ling Mel Call. There may be a guest waiting for us down there, although he's brave if he's came out in this weather. Like I say, I keep saying it wasn't forecast this, so I'm a little disappointed, but it's great to be out. Bank holiday weekend. I feel like there's got to be some mountain rescue call out this weekend, as, uh, like I say, it was forecast for studding weather and very little wind. So there's going to be a lot of, well, we can see them coming along that road, can't we? Uh, loads and loads of cars and the mistake people make on the national trust car park down there is you can't use card payment and um, you can if you park at the campus site but i don't think that opens till nine so a lot of people there were parking their cars walking to the, the machine and like oh didn't know what to do so i guess they just haven't paid and walked up the mountain so hopefully they'll be all right and but i imagine there might be ticket wardens out today as it's going to be so so busy so yeah, just a word of warning for when you're doing uh, Scarfells. Bring cash, because uh, nine quid it cost, but, uh, which is fine, it's a stunning area. But uh, uh, Anyway, just going to finish my brew here, stop waffling on. I'll show you. I'll get cracking down to the call. Cheers.
Right, so we're just heading down Lingmel to the Col now, and it's uh, straight over the other side up to Scorfell Pike. Here, people. Sounded like somebody shouting there. Like I say, I reckon there's going to be a few call outs today because uh, the weather seems to be deteriorating. <laughs> right, here we are. We've just joined the tourist path up to Scorfell Pike. Coming up to Lingmel Col, I believe. Filling up quite busy already. It's just gone sort of 9am now. How are you feeling? Good, yeah. Good. Hi. We both came down this path when we did our two peaks. We did Ben Nevis and this one on the same day. Different then. Came down, pitch black, it was like 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> I'm looking at this path now, I don't know how the hell we did that. We'd Pretty little headlights. Prepared. <laughs> well, low, prepared. Well prepared. prepared. I haven't got any headlights today, so let's hope we don't get stuck. I have one. Oh, yeah. We can't share them, unfortunately. We can so. share. We can share. <laughs> or we can fight to the death for it. So it's mine. All right. One of my favourite parts here. This great rock. It's good to stand on. Massive ball. I'll show you in a minute. It's exciting. This is it. My favourite bit. This big slab of rock. Look at it. Wow. Step on it. Hey, budgeon. I didn't think. It's a cracking view when you've got them, but. Right. Right. The big slab continues up here. What do you think of this lab? Come on, you woman. It's wet rocks, so don't let that these days. What? Wet rocks. Slidey. Slidey. Beautiful. We've been taking bets when we see our first mountain rescue chopper today. It's guaranteed there will be one, but it is quite windy, so maybe there won't be now. I bet 12 o'clock. He bet we wouldn't see one. Or hear one. There's still time yet. It's running just after nine. <laughs> yeah. Coming to the end of the slab now. And also the end of my fun. Because it's a scree ascent from here. Ah! Naturally, I forgot my crampons again today. Don't know why I bothered buying them. <laughs> Didn't think there'd be this much snow left over. Been pacing it down for the last three weeks. It's fairly been warm the last few days, I know. Still residue. Anyway, not much further. Another hundred metres or so. Right, it's trying to clear up, but I don't think it's going to, sadly. You want to miss it. But we're at Munro height now, about 914 metres. Alex slipped there. He thinks I didn't get it on camera. Oh yeah, 60 metres to go. And we're there. I think probably time for a second brew. Oh, hi. Why not? Oh, we're here. Easy, does it? Oh. Hold it, Alex. Shake that hand. Hold it. Let's get him on top of here and see how windy it really is. Right, here we are. Let's clear a seat or oh, the mountain man. Oh. Let's get out of that wind for a bit and have a brew. 
Oh. Ah. Oh, wow. Quiet now. Ah, you see where them people are. They're out of the wind, yeah, but that's where everyone takes a piss, so. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't use that as uh, a place for your bushes. Ah, there's loads. There's another one there. There's one there. See, see them all. Loads of wind shelters. But anyway, we're going to have a quick break here before we have to go back down the path slightly that we came up and turn left down to Mickledore before we try and find Fox's Gully and up to Scarfell. Anyway, we got a mini flask. Large flask for a large man. Is it still warm? That's the acid test. I think it says it keeps it warm for four hours and we've only been going for three hours. That was a very quick ascent, I have to say. Probably my easiest ever ascent of Scorfell Pike. Uh, probably because it helps that it's got company. It's the first time I've actually, well, second time I've actually been with somebody else, but the last time I did it with company, we'd already did Ben Nevis that day, so it wasn't uh, wasn't fun. But I think Lingmel gets you up here a bit quicker, to be fair. It's quite nice, it's quite soft path. That tourist path is just rock all the way up, and it's just, just step, step, you meet a lot of people. Aye. Especially yep. when coming down as well. Especially when coming down, uh, aye. Uh, it's nice to meet Yod folk, but uh, aye, if you come up Lingmel, <laughs> you won't meet anybody really, so aye. Anyway, cheers, Scarfell Pike. Highest men in England right now. Actually, we've just passed the highest men in England, haven't we, with that weed? <laughs> they are, so, yeah. They were the official highest men in England. Higher than the summit, I think, but uh, we are now. And every time I am here, I always think, when I'm on top of Scarfell Pike, I am the best person in England right now. So if you ever want to feel like a little confidence boost or a little mental health boost, come up here. Because you are literally the best person in the country when you're here for a short period of time. Anyway, finish my brew. We'll get cracking out at a Scarfell. You did your brew? Yeah, have I. That was quick. No, Dave, is it per, per hour? Per, per hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I have an ongoing challenge with uh, my YouTube channel where I always throw a snowball at the camera and I've not hit it yet. Right, okay. So I'm going to throw the snowball at the camera. So, and so, so you've got... Camera, so you've got... Oh, sorry, you're talking to the camera, aren't you? Yeah. Right, do you want to start again? <laughs> I thought no, you were talking... No, no, yeah, I'm still talking to you. Oh, sorry, I thought you were talking to me. <laughs> right, just stand there and I'm going to throw this snowball you might want to put it away from your face, because if I miss, it's going to hit you in your face. Well, it's probably, you've got a 100% target of hitting someone else. Put it low. Yeah, right, so we're trying to hit the camera. Oh, sorry. Hit Alex. Do you want to have another shot? And this time no, I'll come I up. have one shot on per video. Oh, so, right, okay. So give, me the, give me the camera There's, back. There was snow in my boot. The There's yeah. snow in my boot. Oh, you're in your boot? Yeah. Thanks, Dave. <laughs> I'll get you one day. Have a look. Oh Christ. Right, so we've just came down from Scarfell Pike Summit. There's a big cairn here and the path you can see plenty of footprints going left here, round and down to Mickledore. Where this is the first time for me this path actually. So a new adventure. One to bank in the memory bank. Right. Not too bad. Snow's starting to thicken up here, so it's a bit easier to walk on. The more people walking on that path up to the summit there, the firmer the snow's getting, so it's getting even slippier. Right, yeah, so we are just descending to Mickledore now. We're out of the snow line, just above 850 metres, I think, at this point. That's at least 100 we've got to reascend, not quite at the bottom yet. Like I say, a new path for me, so it's always a little bit of anxiety flowing through the blood, blood there, but uh, that's a good path. Haven't seen, well, one other person I've seen on this path as the hordes ascend. I think we've just missed the crowds there. At the yeah. of Scarfell Pike, a big train of people, probably a group of 20 and, and then some coming up, so yeah. Luckily we're not going back down that path, so we've got our own way. Oh yes, look at this, uh, how deep this snow is here. Let me step on that. Yeah. <laughs> not bad, is it? Do you like to step on the snow too? Just to... What are you doing? Can you go first? It's not cocaine. <laughs> anyway, yeah. It is Saturday though. It is Saturday. 
So I guess it's all right. Right, so here we are at Mickledore Stretcher Box and gives you the options of where you're at here, it's quite useful. You can go back down Mickledore, very steep path that, just be careful of that. I think we're going to take this path here and find Fox's Gully which will head up to Scarfell itself. Um, but I, this was ransacked last year, a very big shame, but possesses people to make the effort to come up here and, and ransack something like that. But yeah, you can see somebody's life playing life and death there so yeah don't do it uh anyway yeah down this path here um i believe up here if you continue straight up this is the notorious um broad crag or broad end something like that and a lot of people it's a climbing route and a lot of people do go up there and eventually get crag fast so yeah should be careful not to go too far up there i believe but yeah down here for us and up the gully Right, update, so that path is quite scree, <laughs> it's very steep coming down from that stretcher box, so you've got to be really careful, but the good news is, Eskdale is starting to open up, look, oh, <laughs> how much of a morale boost is that, come on, come on, ah, you can see the crag now that folk go up there, folk think you can climb that I believe and uh, get to the top, but Fox's Gully is just down here, over the side of it, Hopefully it's not too bad, I've been told it's alright, but I'm still sceptical, like I say, I've never done it before, so I'll treat it with respect, as always, oh my goodness, could you? this doesn't have snow on it, we are going fleeing, oh, look at that, wow, remote wilderness, just there, uh, look at it before it goes, there we go, we've had out now all day, so I'm going to film all I can get of any views that appear but look at this absolutely stunning wow uh, i think we're not far from fox's gully T taking the gloves off now because it's warming up it is warming up a little bit get your hands on the rock feel nature as it's intended oh, wow Wow, look at the size of that crag. Ooh. Looks like a giant in the clouds. Right, apparently we've came down the wrong path. I believe there is one this side. So we're going to cut across to that path now. And that's going to head us up the gully. There's a couple of four going up there now. A lot of water coming down it. I believe the videos I've watched, there hasn't been that much water coming down it. So I hope it's okay. But uh, I believe it is the only way um, to Scarfell from here. Avoiding the massive crags there. Just be careful when these are not steady. Right, here we are. For my first time at Fox's Gully. I'm going straight up here. Now, we've done Lord's Rake before. There's a video on the channel entitled Scorefell. You'll see that. Now then. I'm the guy that accidentally came down a waterfall off Glaramara. That wasn't a path. This apparently is. So, <laughs> definitely a path. I've checked it once, twice, many websites. That is a path. If I fail on this path, I've come back and haunt whoever made the uh, sites that say it is. <laughs> Hurry up! He's nervous. He's nervous. Right, mate. Three points of contact at all times. Never two feet. So it, was, it is dangerous, but safe. The three points always have three points. Right, let's do it. Let's go. Oh. Wow. So much fun. Slippy. Slippy fun. Is it dangerous? Probably looks more dangerous than it is. I love water. I love being in water. I love mountains. So here, I'm in a mountain. 
that has water in it. So I uh, wonderful stuff. Short work of this. I love drinking water. You like drinking water? Yeah. This is the freshest water you can have. You do not need a filter. All the filter lads, get out of here, drink this. That's coming straight from the source. Drink it. Top. Maybe at the top, from the little tarn with the dead sheep in. All right. Right. I can. I don't need three points of contact at all times because a professional mountain climber. I have a channel in that. Uh, three. Uh, not easy this bit. I guess. There's a couple of footholds here that have probably been etched in. I need to break it all. Huh? Ah? I need to break it all. Right. I've been filming two minutes so far. And already I can say this is probably more difficult than Lord's Rake. Lord's Rake is steep, but there's like a bloody waterfall flowing down it. <laughs> I'll get you some nice action shots for your Tinder profile. But you've got a what do you say? Got a bird. Oh you've got a bird, have you? Okay. So this won't be for his Tinder profile. I'll use it for mine though. Oh. Oh. I've never had as much fun in my life. I've done Stride and Edge, Fork and Ridge, Lord's Rake. This is great fun. Wow. Fancy going down and doing another lap and doing it again today. Oh, so much fun. Oh, it's nearly over, I think. Right. I think that's it just about done. There's a cairn here. Does that signify the end of the gully? And then where we turn right up the scarf hill, I think. Oh. 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 That's one way to climb 50 metres very quickly. And here we are, just topping out at the smallest named town, I think, in the Lake District, Fox's Town. Fancy a swim? It's more of a puddle, as people say. <laughs> yeah, beautiful. Any tadpoles? Oh, that's beautifully clear, man. A little bit of sheep shit, but you wouldn't taste that in the water. Right. Let's make our ascent to Scorfell, where we've got a couple of sandwiches waiting and a rocky road crispy cake. On your lunchtime, I'd say it was quarter past 11 this month. Yeah, quite fast. Time's knocking on quick. Four and a half. This scree path, I believe it's not fun. Right, we're just working our way up the scree hell of Scorfell. Right, isn't it? Oh, the views have come back now. You can see, do not the little tarn there. Lovely spot we're just discussing for a camp there. Eh? If you could manage to get up that waterfall with a tent on your back, heavy pack, reward. Uh, you water from there, though. Anyway, not too much more, about 50 more metres. Right, so we've broke the back of the nasty little passages down there, scree. If anyone fancies coming up here and finishing this yarn all the way down to the town there, you're welcome to do so. I'll, I'll donate 20 quid if you, if you come and do it. I'll donate a fiver. You'll donate a fiver. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, right, it's level enough now. I think Scarfell Summit's just out here. Somewhere. I've been here before, like I said, I've done a video on Scorfell. 
but I'm unsure if I actually hit the Scorfell summit on that video. I'm thinking I might have confused it with Simmons Knot, which is over there somewhere. <laughs> but I can't tell because it was all clogged in at the time. But anyway, we'll head up to this yarn and tick it off for this journey round. Get up there, lad. Get up. Right. Here we are, on top of the third Wainwright of the day. Scorfell. 964 metres. Take it. Thank you very much. Oh, aye. It's cleared up. Just in the nick of time. 12 o'clock. Scarfell Pike's still in the quag over there, but uh, old Waswater's up and up, and Burnmore Tarn will be heading down a slight side next, just over here. We're just finding the lull. Nice grassy area where we can sit down and have a brew. This looks like an epic view of uh, the end of here. Might be able to dangle our legs down. Oh, the ah, Jesus, the rock was sharp. Oh, hi. What's it like? There we are. Oh, hi. Bit windy. We'll go over here. Oh, yes. You don't have a brew. Have you drunk it all? I am just uh, admiring the, the clear admiring view. Admiring the clear view while you can. Yeah. I'm going to go jump right into the tea. <sighs> See, it didn't blow in your face this week, eh? I was waiting for it. <laughs> you throw it in your face. I'm going to throw it in your fucking camera. Yeah. Sorry. That's my swearing Take again. Take all the views you can get, because I've had bugger all in the last recent walks. <laughs> He's built it on his own. Give me it. Thank you, cameraman. Number one or two? Yeah, number two. Right. I promised that I would do it. Sandra from work. Thank you for my Easter Rocky Road cake that she bakes. I'm going to review it now. Tell you what I think. I promised that I would do it on the video, so here we go. A little bit of energy. Healthy white chocolate or dark chocolate. Cheers, Sandra. Mmm. 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 Fantastic. Three out of ten. Right, that's us all saddled up and back on the summit of Scorfell. I'm going to head this way to slight side now before we cross the town. Up. <laughs> Yeah. 
running wild on this old night, sitting by the traffic light zone. I don't know if I should go. Right, so that's just us descended a slight side in the video that you've seen us pick up. Uh, well, slight side, and we've just descended straight down from the hill itself. We haven't gone the pathway round by Burmore Town. We've kind of made a shortcut, and it is kind of rolling green hills, and that's something I would have liked to have known, really. It is safe. You can go up Scorfell, slight side, pretty much from wherever you want down here. It cuts off going through a bog fest, I believe, round. I've seen it on other people's videos. But aye, I'm going to skip Ilgil Head and Windrig today. They deserve a walk on its own, so I'll come back and pick them up in a, in a short one soon. But anyway, thought I'd wrap up the adventure from here. Thank you for coming, Alex. Appreciate it. Cheers, Dave. Cheers. Thanks Thank you. Dave. Appreciate it. Uh, give us a lift today. Uh, but yeah, this has been the Scorfell Group for Wainwrights today. Lingmel, Scorfell Pike, Scorfell itself, and Slight Side. So I just want to say thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you back out on the fells very, very soon. Peace.